Hi, my name is Andreas. I'm a front end supervisor at Down to Earth Honolulu, and today we are going over bag packing training. An important thing to remember when bagging, of course, is to make sure everything is scanned. And a great way of doing this is by checking the computer screen after you scan each item to make sure it indeed got rung up correctly. Once the items are scanned, you can begin to start putting them in bags. This is really good for customers as it makes the receipt very clear to read and there's no confusion with what they did or did not get charged for. Oftentimes, you won't have to give a customer a bag because they'll bring their own bags. And whenever a customer brings a bag, we give them 10 cents per bag. At Down to Earth, we love to promote sustainability. And when a customer brings their own bag, we like to thank them, say, hey, thanks for bringing your bag today. Or your total is $21.95 after your bag credit, just so they know that we indeed give them a credit for bringing their bag. One thing we value at Down to Earth is ensuring customer satisfaction and we do that by whenever a customer asks for a bag credit, just give it to them. It's only 10 cents and they will leave happy. Another important thing to remember when you are bagging is to keep fragile items like bread or bananas on top. So you want to bag these last, put the other items in first and then make sure these are safely on top and they won't get squished. Now when you start to ring up items, you'll notice that we have a bunch of different types of products. We have food products and we also have cleaning products. Now at Down to Earth we like to split up the food from cleaning products. Not all customers want this but the customers who do will really appreciate it. And we can do this either by bagging all of the cleaning items together in one bag or if there's only one cleaning item you can use one of these small bags and put the item in there. Keeps it separated from all the food and then the rest of the food can go right in. Now something to remember when you are bagging, it's a very basic tip, but anything over five pounds, you want to double bag because these bags are indeed weak, but when you double them, it gets about four times stronger. So here's what the double bag looks like. You stick the bag in and then you open it inside. It makes it easier for the paper bags to double. Whenever customers buy down to earth products, we want to make sure that the products get home safely. And glass is something that could potentially have some risks. So we will put it in these smaller bags, just like this, and it keeps it protected for the trip home. Also, when there are multiple glass items like kombuchas, you can do two things. You could put them inside and then use another item to bracket them, to separate them that way. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. So it'll be like that, so they're not touching. A safer option is to just put them in these bags. Customers do have preferences. Another option with bagging glass bottles are the drink carriers that your grocery department can provide you. Stick the bottles in here like that and straight in. An important thing to remember when bagging deli and bulk items is a lot of them have lids that can come off easily. So what we do is we will just tape these right up. And so tape all of the containers, make sure the tape is on securely and this will help prevent them from opening up in customer bags. Some things like the pesto, they are have a tendency to leak. So you can put them in little bags like this to ensure that customers will get their products home safely. We also have cold bags for things like the tapioca and chia pudding. Anything cold, you can stick it in a cold bag like that, all taped up, secured, ready to go, just like that. Sometimes customers will get food in these boats and they'll request a foil. You can also offer foil to them. Here's a quick tutorial on how to foil wrap your food items. So you stick it about halfway, fold the foil over, tuck it in nicely, fold it over like that, and then wrap and it's ready to go for the customer. Whenever you're restocking bags, it's a good idea to just wipe down the area and make sure it's clean for the new bags. If you have any additional questions about bagging, always remember that your front end supervisor or manager is here to help. So ask them your questions. Thank you guys for watching the bag training video. Have a great day.